The purpose of this training is to provide suppression level companies with the knowledge, skills, and equipment to effectively perform a palm tree rescue without having to wait for TRT to arrive. The expectation is that suppression companies will take this training along with drills performed with our crews to become proficient in palm tree rescue. We will first discuss basic palm tree anatomy. The crown is the live portion of the canopy of the tree. Palm fronds, the leaves of the tree, both dead and alive. The accumulation of dead fronds is called the skirt or the collar. The trunk or stem. Palm trees are designed to be flexible in extremely high winds, and its root system keeps it planted rather than breaking or pulling out. It's important for the rescuer to understand that palm trees have a high capacity for bending and not breaking. Victims requiring palm tree rescue are typically tree trimmers that climb the palm tree to remove dead fronds. They become trapped when the removal of some of the fronds causes the entire skirt to fall. They are usually found pinned to the tree by their climbing harness and flip line under the skirt. Some of the skills necessary for performing a palm tree rescue are as follows. Tying an anchor with a munter hitch, tying a figure eight on a bite, the use of a pulley, and operating a whoopee sling. Establishing an anchor with a munter hitch. We will be using what is called a Sara wrap to establish an anchor. A three foot section of webbing with a water bend is fed through an anchor point and a carabiner is attached through the loops created. Tie a munter hitch and attach to the carabiner. Lock the carabiner in place and ensure the munter hitch is performing correctly. Tie a figure eight on a bite on the end of the working line. A safety knot is not needed for the figure eight, but ensure there is at least six inches of tail. A pulley will be used at the high point. Thread the rope through the pulley and attach a locking carabiner to both the pulley and the figure eight. A whoopee sling will be used to establish the high point. Throw one end of the whoopee sling around the trunk while holding on to the other. Feed one of the eyelets through the other and cinch the whoopee sling down, tightening it to the tree. You will be able to manipulate the attachment point directly over the victim. The whoopee sling will be attached high on the tree near the crown. When spotting the aerial for palm tree rescue, there are a few considerations to point out. Ideally, we will be working off the rear of the truck, we will have a clear view of the victim, and we will be working off the left side of the tree. Working off the rear of the truck ensures the truck is operating at its most stable and provides a safe anchor point for our working line. As the engineer gets the ladder in place, other crew members should be establishing an anchor and preparing the working line, as well as gathering equipment for the rescue. The aerial is spotted with the tree on the left side, offering the engineer a view of the tree, the victim, and rescue operations. The standard operating procedure for the palm tree rescue can be described as a top-down approach. We will establish the high point first and capture the victim second. Rescuers will be wearing PPE to include ladder belts. Rescuers will be carrying the whoopee sling, a D-handled pike pole, and assorted webbing to aid in attachment to the victim's harness. It should be noted that the rescue ring is a good alternative for capturing the victim if their harness is either inaccessible or you don't trust its integrity. The rescuer should ascend the ladder carrying the pulley attached to the working line along with the tag line off the left side of the ladder. This will aid in the attachment of the pulley to the high point. On your way to establish the high point, 
you can quickly assess patient level of consciousness and harness accessibility. Ladder belts will be used whenever working off the ladder. Establish the high point as high as possible between the crown of the tree and the fallen skirt. The attachment point of the whoopee sling should be manipulated to be directly over the victim. Attach the pulley to the whoopee sling, ensuring the carabiner is in the locked position. The engineer will have to maneuver the aerial around the skirt to gain access to the victim. The victim's harness should be used to capture the victim. Again, if the harness is either inaccessible or not trustworthy, the rescue ring should be used. Attach the working line to the victim's harness, ensuring the carabiner is locked. If using the rescue ring, ensure it's engaged and has captured the victim. A tagline is used to aid in controlling the descent of the victim. It will be used to keep the victim away from the tree. To complete capture of the victim, take up slack in the working line and secure the anchor while rescuers work to remove the skirt. The ladder may need to be adjusted to gain access for removal of the skirt. Rescuers can unzip the collar of fronds like unzipping a jacket by using a de-handled pike pole and focusing on one section until the fronds fall away. Do not use a chainsaw. After the removal of the skirt is complete, the victim will need to be raised slightly to remove the load that will be on his flip line and gaffs. This will be accomplished by vectoring the working line. Once raised, the rescuer will be able to remove the victim's flip line and the gaffs will no longer be loaded. Lower the victim to the ground using the munter hitch. Use the tagline to keep the victim away from the tree. Once safely on the ground, the victim can be transferred to medical for assessment and treatment.